A string of burglaries happened in Marshall, Indiana late last week. One homeowner took matters into his own hands by firing shots at one of the suspects. And that prompted the Park County Sheriff's Office to make a Facebook post. It concerned the Stand Your Ground law. News 10's Lacey Clifton has more. Yes, today I went to Marshall, Indiana, and I actually spoke with the neighbor of the man who fired off those shots. He tells me if he was put in his shoes, he probably would have done the same thing. Carl Huxford has lived in Marshall, Indiana for 14 years. Last week, he and his other neighbors were victims of burglary. My other neighbor said that he looked out and he saw the boy crouched underneath his car and he had a gun in his hand. And he said, I didn't want to shoot the boy over what was going on. But Huxford did have another neighbor that when he realized what was happening, took matters into his own hands by firing off shots. He was defending his space. I think he did the right thing. So that brings up the question, what rights do homeowners have to protect their property? It's got to be within your curtilage. It's got to be nearby buildings or your home. Sometimes if you have a fence, it's within your fence. Um, so there is gray areas. As a homeowner, hearing there are gray areas can sound scary, but Cole says it just means each situation is different. Every case of self-defense is fact sensitive, so it can be open for legal debate. So if somebody does choose to take that step, you know, then they should also be prepared to, they might have to defend their actions of what they did, and there could be consequences if they weren't within the law. Knowing that the stand your ground law is in place, Huxford says if he was in his neighbor's shoes, he probably would have done the same thing. We've got a right to our space and to our defense. And if someone invades our, our uh, privacy, and we have a right to defend ourselves. So now we want to hear from you. You can sound off on our WTHI Twitter poll as to how well you know the Stand Your Ground law. And also if you check later on WTHITV.com, we'll actually have the Stand Your Ground law so you can take a better look at it. For now, I'm Lacey Clifton reporting live in the newsroom. Back to you.